Hey guys, Dr. Nelson here from Rising Sun Chiropractic here to talk about lower back pain and management. Now, if you've ever had your back go out on you, you know it's a scary and a painful event and I want to give you some tools that you can use not only on a daily basis but when you're in that heat of the moment where it really, really hurts to help control the pain and get you back on the right step. So the first thing is, if you're doing any stretch or any exercise and it's creating sharp pain or it's making your pain worse, please stop. Uh, and immediately do something different. Uh, sharp pain should always be avoided. Number two, stretches should be kept short. Don't sit here and hold any of the things I'm going to show you for 30, 40, 50 seconds. It will fatigue sore muscles. And so short holds, more frequency, usually gets better results. So the first one is a hip flexor stretch. This is important because it ties right to the lower back and it makes sure that when you go to sit to stand, if you have that catch, this can sometimes be the culprit. And so what you're going to do is stand up real straight, you're going to take a big step back, and if you have balance issues, it's totally fine to use a counter or something, but you're going to twist your hip forward, get your torso upright, and then bend this front knee while you try to straighten this back one up. You should feel a stretch from leg to lower abdomen, and for those of you who are really flexible, you're going to bring your arms up, and you can twist and lean back to create a bigger stretch. And so that one, we want to hold for about five to seven seconds. And you want to make sure that you're doing both sides with any of these stretches so that you can make sure uh, that we're keeping balanced. The second one is here is sit in a chair. You're going to get upright with your back. You're going to cross a leg over your knee and you are going to fold forward. In this forward folded position, we're going to hold this about five to seven seconds. This is going to feel it in your leg and your lower back. Now the key here though is that if you slouch, you won't stretch anything. You won't feel like you're doing any good. So you want to look over your leg. Now for those of you who can't cross a knee over an, uh, or an ankle over a knee, let us know and we can give you some modifiers. The final one is going to be on the floor here. This could be done on a bed. This could be done anywhere that you have a stable space, but I prefer the floor just so you get a little bit more balance. The first thing you're going to do is when you lay down, you're going to try to do your best to let your back relax. Deep, slow breaths right in your belly, and it will kind of just move your hips in a way that will help relax the muscles. From that position, we're going to go into kind of a push-up. So the first position is here, and we're just going to breathe deep and easy. As our back relaxes, we're going to come up onto our elbows and rest. Now the goal here again is to just let your back relax, and as it does, we're going to move into a push-up. Now, when we do this, we want to make sure we go nice and easy, and there's no sharp pain, there's no radiating pain, nothing into hip, legs, or groin. And as long as you can go steady and slow, this is something that usually does a great job at controlling most lower back pain. Now, I know some of you would think right away, like, man, I'm touching my toes is the way to go but usually that will get you in more trouble. So start with these three and uh, see what you think, but I have found it to be a tried and true way to calm down more back pain when people are in a hot spot. So let us know if you have any questions and I uh, hope you have a great day.